Hi guys, welcome to the Card Launch Quick Tips. Today I'm going to show you some nice and handy features of our RT7 bait boat. Today I'm going to show you some uh, like hidden features in my opinion, but very nice and uh, interesting things inside your controller. Um, the statistics and the sensors. You will find them on the top right here on the three lines that's the that opens the menu if you click on it and then we go to my rt7 and then you will find the statistics here when you click on statistics what are those the statistics are made for um yeah perfect overview like you know from your car if you want to for example buy an, a used car of course the first thing you're asked is how many miles are already run with the car etc uh, and you can see everything here for your bait boat as well you can see the total runtime you can see uh, how often the bait spreaders have been used and how often you've opened the hopper door etc the total app runtime which gives you a feedback of the total runtime of your controller and the tablet which is uh, um, part of the controller I think this is very handy because you know how it is we had it very often in the past when customers have bought a used boat of course everybody who's selling something says I've just used it twice it's like brand new and finally with this uh, new function from the RT7 which is only available for the RT7 not for any RT4 etc you directly have an over overview what happened in the past to the RT7 bait boat there's one other thing I would definitely like to talk about you will find it on uh, which you click here on sensors the sensors um, will on the left hand side give you an overview of the uh, current GPS position which of course at the minute is not available available because I'm sitting here in our video studio but as soon as you're outside and connected with the boat if you've turned it on your boat will set up a connection to the satellites and of course with the satellite satellites and our GPS system inside the boat it will give you the direct position of the bait boat you can also see the compass uh, that means uh, you can directly see in which direction is uh, the, yeah which the boat is showing to um, you can also which is in my peri opinion very helpful the uh, humidity inside the boat and the temperature at the minute of course inside it's 43, deg uh, 43 degrees don't worry uh, for example if you've got it in summertime you got it um, in it stands outside in the sun sometimes uh, it can go up to 60 70 degrees don't worry of course the boat is made for outdoor use so no worries about that but especially now in the winter time uh, you know that um, from your BV, um, if it's a very cold night, you've got the heater on maybe, of course you will have some condensation. Yeah, this is not a problem. Yeah, this is uh, this also happens in the boat. You know, the boat is heating up when you're using it, the motors are running, the battery is getting a bit warm. Um, and of course, if you leave it outside of the BV or you uh, turn the heater off during the night, it's getting cold again inside your BV. Of course, the warm air and um, the warmer the air the more um, uh, condensation you've, or even uh, humidity you've got um, of course it will um, like condensate a bit from the inside which is not a problem at all you don't have to worry about it but the good thing is um, with the RT7 we have three water sen sensors inside that means on the left hand side in the middle compartment and on the right hand side on the bottom of your boat this will, uh, what you can see here also on the right hand side, the, the three water sensors, this will just give you a quick overview if everything's all right. If there is some moisture or even condensated uh, water inside the boat, don't worry. You don't have to call us uh, directly. Yeah, it will also give you a warning uh, when the um, the sensors will uh, will get wet. It will first of all tell you, hey guys, there's some uh, moisture detected inside your boat. You should open your battery um, cover, get the batteries out, and let it dry. Yeah, because it's a physical thing. Yeah, we can build the best bait boats available, but of course we cannot. Uh, yeah, do the magic trick to uh, avoid any physical uh, things. So, unfortunately, this is not possible. But like I've said, the good thing is you will get an information. Hey, there's some moisture detected, and all you need to do is just open the co uh, the cover, let it dry, and everything's fine again. Of course, 
if something happens, I don't know, you, the boat was falling, falling down, you got a little crack somewhere and there's really water ingress in the boat, then of course this will give you an even more dramatic warning like, hey mate, there's still water inside even after you've opened the, or let it dry out, uh, you should definitely get in touch with Carp Lounge. This will just make sure that you send it in or even that you get in touch with us in time, that we can go with you through some options to check if everything's sorted or that if there's the still just some uh, condensation or something or if there in the worst case is really a need to send it in but this will definitely make sure that you know what's going on inside the boat this is just to avoid that everything's like rusty and yeah you know messed up inside this is definitely cool this will save you at the end of the day a lot of money and this helps us to help you just in time. Yeah, this is a quick, um, yeah, in my opinion, hidden um, option you've got with your RT7 bait boat. And I'm sure that this is very helpful, especially to make sure that your boat is always in a perfect condition. And just in case, if you want to buy a used boat, that you definitely know what you get. I hope you've enjoyed the video and more videos are coming soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.